there, you wonderful artist. Today we're going to draw something together. Something that brings so many of us so much joy. We're going to try to draw Lord Ganesha. Now sometimes it might seem a bit daunting to be able to draw something so grand, but let's give it a shot, shall we? So here I have a paper which is about the size of the palm of my hand or maybe a little bit bigger, I guess. And I'm going to start right in the center. It helps to have your hands a little free. So if you want, do a little bit of practice of curvy baby lines because that's going to form a lot of our drawing today. It's going to form a big part of our drawing today. And if you feel like your hands are ready, free, flowing, then grab a pencil and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with the center of our page right here. And we're gonna draw a bit of a C or an inverted U and continue the line all the way down there. Take a moment to do it. It's okay if it's not perfect. I'm gonna pause right here or you can pause a little longer if you want to. But just do the best you can, right? Then we're going to pick it up from there and draw a gentle S right there. And this is going to be the end of our little trunk. And the end of the trunk to the face. There we go. Not bad. Now, we're going to see if we want to add a crown to the shape of the head right there. So that's the first layer of my crown and then a second and then we draw a shape like that. That's going to form the top of my crown. Now I'm going to give some big ears, big huge ears. Right? All right, let's start right here. Go up. Swoosh it down and join it right there. Before we make the ear on the other side, I'm going to give a dusk. Right? Because Lord Ganesha has the thread of an elephant, and elephants have big ears and tusks. So there we go. We have a couple of tusks and a huge ear. Are you ready to make the ear on the other side? Right, let's do it. This time, we will not be able to complete the ear because we're going to pretend that it's going behind the trunk. All right, time for the belly. So I'm going to draw an imaginary line from the center. That's going to help me understand where I want my belly to be centered. So that little dot that you see right there, that's where I want my belly to be centered. I want it to start from tusk and go to tusk. So remember, tusk to tusk. So let's go ahead and draw a big belly. There we go. Now let's go ahead and add um, some legs. All right. So I'm going to draw a straight line right from the center and another line right there. I'm going to join these. This is going to be a beautiful border which is at the end of Papa's dhoti. And this right here is going to help me get the leg. So I'm going to draw a shape like that which is going to help me get the leg. Now I want to show as if his foot is sticking out of here. So we're going to draw a line like that and a toe and a straight line. So that's his foot. It's coming out of this leg. Now the other leg, when he's sitting cross-legged, I'm going to pretend he's going inside. So I'm not going to be able to see the foot of that leg. But it's going to look kind of like this or on this side. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish that right there. 
doesn't have to be perfectly symmetric, right? Because when you cross your legs, they don't always look perfectly symmetric. So that's good, right there. All right, how about some hands now? Papa loves to eat sweet things. And the Modak is his absolute favorite. So on this hand right here, I'm going to draw a Modak. And that's my yummy, yummy Modak right there, just for him. And over here, I'm going to draw his hand as if he were giving me a blessing. Alright, now remember when you hold your hand up next to your body, your thumb comes closer to your body. So I've drawn the thumb closer to his body and now I'm going to give some fingers. Alright, four fingers and complete the hand. So there we go. That's him giving him and us and everybody his blessing. How about some lines for the trunk? Right there. Doesn't that help give it a lower dimension? I think so. So over here, I'm going to pretend that his eyes are closed because I think he's happy and laughing and smiling with us. Now, before we move further, let's make another line right here. And maybe we can leave it with a scarf to wear as well. Something like that. And you can go ahead and add some color if you like. So I hope you enjoyed it and happy drawing!